Pterodactyl here, and I'm gonna tell you five things you should never do to your snowboard. Number five, never use regular standard hardware in place of a shear bolt. These two-stage snowblowers have shear bolts in the auger, and those shear bolts are designed to shear to save the gearbox. Otherwise, the gearbox is very expensive to repair. So you should always use a shear bolt. Now here's an example of a shear bolt. Yours may be different. You can see it's a non-graded bolt. Non-graded means it doesn't have these grade marks. See those three little lines? That means this is a grade five. If it had five little lines, that would be a grade eight. That's even harder yet. See, this has no markings. So that means it's a non-graded bolt. Plus, it's been relieved in a couple of spots so it's easier to shear. So, always use the proper shear bolts for your machine. So never use standard hardware for a shear bolt. Otherwise, you're just asking for trouble. Expensive trouble. Gearbox trouble. Number four, if yours is equipped with an electric starter, never sit and crank and crank and crank and crank and crank on the electric starter. That's a good way to burn it up. It's just an electric motor. If it doesn't start within a 20, 15, 20 seconds, it ain't gonna start. You got another problem. And all you're gonna do is burn out that electric starter. So never sit there and crank 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 on the electric starter. You're just gonna burn it out. And that's gonna cost you lots of money. Number three, never put your snow blower away after you've been done blowing snow with the auger and the chute still with snow in it, packed with snow. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because what usually happens is, if it's cold out and that snow doesn't melt out of there, it's going to freeze in there. And the next time you go to use it, when you go to push down on the lever to engage the auger drive, it's going to be frozen. And then you're going to burn up the belt. And that's going to cost you money and aggravation. So always make sure it's cleared out. Push the lever down when you're done and let it spin and kind of push anything that's in there out of there. So you don't want to store it with any kind of snow packed up in the auger part. Just going to burn up the belt and again, going to cost you money and aggravation. Number two, these snow blowers weren't designed to blow snow on gravel driveways. I understand that you can set these skid shoes on a, on a two stage and set it up, but you're still gonna grab gravel that's in that snow, and with a single stage, you're really gonna grab that gravel and fling it. Hey, maybe uh, you've been doing it for years and that's fine, but you know what, you're just asking for trouble. You're gonna grab that gravel and fling it, maybe through your window, maybe through a neighbor's window, somebody's car window. You could even injure somebody by that rocks being thrown. Also, I've seen where rocks get jammed in the second stage and jam it up. And then you burn up a belt. So it's not a good idea to use a snowblower on a gravel driveway. And the number one thing you should never do with your snowblower and that is stick your hand in there if it gets plugged up. If your auger gets plugged up, don't stick your hand in there, even if you shut the motor off. Because sometimes when it gets jammed up, it's under tension. And once you relieve that tension, off come the fingers. Why do you think they put these little snow shovels on a bunch of them now? So you can dig around in there to get it relieved. So don't be stupid and in a hurry. If your auger clogs up, 
Go get a broom handle or a stick or something and unclog it. Don't stick your hand in there. Unless you want to be Captain Hook for Halloween. So, those are the five, five things I recommend you don't do with your snowblower. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, Terrell Fixes All. That's me with all my fingers, Terrell. Follow me with your snowblowers. Hopefully they're running on Facebook and Instagram. Go to our web store, buy some Terrell apparel. You can buy some stuff, spark plug necklaces, hats, hoodies, t-shirts. Gotta be wearing that stuff, a lot of it, because it's cold out when you're blowing snow. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! Five things you should never do when you're operating a snowblower.